Okay, word in the YouTube streets is that Drake released his album because he was trying to beat Beyonce releasing Break My Soul because the sound of the song, his album and her song are the same. It's a very different, noticeable sound and likely the era of music that we're stepping into may sound like that. Uh, for everyone who's upset by it, y'all have to remember Beyonce's 40. She's not old, but she's 40 with three children and a husband. She's not gonna be doing all that booty shaking, ass clapping, ass music as she used to do. Now she did do that, but honestly it was in moderation. She has a lot of slow songs and um, songs that I could see her performing after age 40, but I also can see her, um, what is the word? Dialing it back a bit, especially look how big Blue is. Like Blue is at that age where she is starting to really understand that she literally, her mother is Beyonce. Like she's always known it, but Blue is going to be going through some serious um, transitions realizing how po powerful and prominent her family is um and y'all will see it i don't think we'll ever hear about it though because the good thing is jay-z and beyonce keep their children grounded uh, but even more so her because she's the first and she's the one that's really at this moment starting to realize this is big so um let me just go ahead and get to doing the reading um if you don't want to hear my commentary go to another youtube channel um yes i do stop sometimes I do um, and get up and maybe let my dog out and do other things. People have called me distracted. I have ADHD and I'm proud of having ADHD and I'm not going to let anyone um, shame me for having it. Okay, so if you don't like it, you can get the fuck on. Ooh, you can get the freak on. Let me see. Four. The four cups. We have the ten of cups upright. The lovers upright. We have the four of cups. And then right here, we have the Eight of Swords. And then the Magician. And then at the bottom, we have Death Inverted. Okay. Honestly, yes. The Nose Carter click got a hold of the fact that Drake's sound was similar to Break My Soul. Mm -hmm. They did. Um, there is this energy of... I don't think Beyonce does interviews anymore, but either her or Drake, when asked about this, like, did you release... Um, do you think Drake released because of your song? He knew it was coming out and vice versa. I don't think they would, um, I don't think Drake would confirm or deny it, but I definitely do think we'll get this awkward silence that is saying yes without saying yes from him. We may hear a subliminal or two, um, come from Drake towards the Knowles Carter click. Something is going on. It's crazy that I'm saying that because honestly, the cards are giving me what I asked, but there's this energy. Yeah, three of, three of, um, three of pentacles inverted. It could have been, ooh, and then the page of swords inverted is behind that. And then the ten of pentacles is behind that with the upright emperor. Yep. Mm -hmm. And Jay-Z has some influence on this as well. I think Jay is probably the one, yes, yep. I think Jay is the one that brought Beyonce the information in her, about Drake's new sound. See, the issue is, is um, they all work in the uh, music industry for sure. We know that. The issue is, is that the Knowles Carter clan has a lot of power. And uh, I think people sh overshare with them and tell them too much. And I think it kind of, someone kind of let it slip. And, you know, he, he took, Hope took it and ran with it. I really do think, see that. Let me, give me a second. See, this is interesting. This is the my book that I read. Um, from time to time when I'm doing my readings, I really enjoy doing it because it kind of refreshes my memory to what the card means in the entirety. Can I read tarot cards? Yes, but they have a lot of fucking meanings. Okay, so this is this is good. This reverse page of swords is the one that I was drawn to go to the book about. So re listen to this. Be careful about sharing information with colleagues slash coworkers. They may not be trustworthy. And that's right here on the um, career um, paragraph. And this is the Modern Witchcraft book 
um, of tarot. It explains tarot now, the witchcraft thing. Don't judge me. Um, I don't do witchcraft, but this is a really good book. Yes. Didn't I just say that? I said that someone, I don't think, see, I don't think it was um, Drake himself. I think it's someone that oh, talked too much to Jay-Z and he told Beyonce and then we have this debacle. Let me say this too. Think about it. They do talk. Because remember, um, I think Pusha T was the one that told us Drake had a baby, right? A lot goes down in them studio sessions and dinners and shit that they be having. But yeah, honestly, Drake, I think that you and Beyonce have someone in common that y'all work with musically. And if I were you, I would eliminate that person because there is an important, an important part of their job is to not be telling what you have coming out so no one else can ruin it. And the fact that they're acting like this is not okay. Number one, because this clearly is giving the indication that he kisses their ass, number one. He or she kisses their ass, number one. Um, and number two, he prioritizes them over you because he didn't think nothing of it to tell them about your new sound. And this is another thing, but let me get a drink of water for us to keep going. A sip of water myself you know what i meant shit this is another thing jc i don't think he's a bad person but he's a very smart man and it's interesting because it's like i don't know what it what is it i'm trying to say he has this way of just not really saying anything and people just spilling the beans and it's intentional to fit you know to find things out it's like i don't he don't even have to ask they're going to tell him. So if you can figure out who this mutual connection is, Drake, I definitely would um, cut ties with them because they can't keep a secret. Like, this is ridiculous. There's something else brewing. Uh, let's explore it, and I'm going to explore it with my petty pack. These are my petty cards. <laughs> so I'm starting to do that now. Only work with certain decks with, when I get certain energies so that it won't be all mixed up. Like, this is my happy deck, that yellow one. And then the rest really are very neutral. But I'm careful about what decks I use for what now. Because I just, I think it's better just to use the same deck when you're doing petty shit, in my opinion. And I'm entitled to it. Let me see. What's going on that I don't see, Spirit? What's going on that I don't see? What is going on that I do not see? Something is happening. I'm not, ooh, that was quick. Let me see. Mm. Mm. Three of Swords, someone will betray you. Four of Wands. Five of Swords, Betrayal, and then Five of Pentacles right there. Damn. A lot of changes. Okay, so um, let me get one more and then I'm going to... Yep, Three of Wands. Yep. So this Three of Wands, I'm going to read this. Um, Through careful planning, a goal or project long and your dreams will be realized. A new business or idea, like a new sound, is assured. Anticipate obstacles and visualize how you will overcome them. So let me say this. This energy applies to Drake and Beyonce. They are two of the greatest artists of our time. But even the greatest artists of our time have insecurities. And that insecurity seems to be where they fit in in the music, music industry in the future. The music industry is ever-changing. Drake and Beyonce are getting older, and that's a beautiful thing to be able to get old because we lose people um, at very young ages these days. But, yes, there, yeah, it definitely happened um, the way I said it happened. It's, it's giving that, like, Jay got the information, gave it to Beyonce, but then there is this anxiety with Drake and Beyonce c concerned about where they will stand um, with their future in the music industry. But honestly, no one will be able to recreate what you, the two of you have done, okay? 
And that's just that on that, you know. Honestly, when I kept reading these card meanings, because I like to read the card meanings on this one when it's pet my petty time. I don't understand how people that have um, accomplished so much can still have a... I ain't gonna say I don't understand. I do get it. How you can accomplish a lot and still have a low self-esteem. Ain't that crazy? Because, I mean, it's Beyonce. It's Drake. Like, what should they have to worry about? According to this, a lot. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Uh, I... It's something else, too. Let me see. Give me something out of the kipper for Beyonce and Drake. I would not normally take this many cards. But we got Courtship, Coffin, which is not actual death, more so the end of an era, False Person, Community, The Internet, Mm, okay. Okay, give me more about that spirit. I just saw something else and I immediately got this thought. And um, let's see, let's see what the spirit says. Give me more about um, what I saw with that card. Mm. Okay, yeah. So we're going to have an issue come up between honestly, guys, and hit me up on my video when it happens because it's going to happen. I saw the courthouse with the kipper. So, okay, so it's we're going to have a legal issue pop up between, it almost looks like it could be between two very prominent people in the music industry. I'm not going to say it's Drake and Beyonce, but I'm going to say somehow this whole situation ties into them and it could possibly be them. But there is going to be an argument over music, like over song lyrics or something. Uh, they are really taking this copycat energy seriously when people try to copy them. But there definitely is this energy of, yeah, there being like a court battle over someone feeling like the other artist stole their work. I've never known either of them to be accused of stealing other people's um, work, though. So that's kind of different for me. But it may really, may not be them. It really is the producers and the people that work with them in the studio. I really do believe that if you're a producer, you should kind of stick with the same clients. Like no more than two to three. Because when you start working with everybody in the music industry, eventually it all starts to sound the same. And you slip up and you talk too much. And it, it just is a lot of conflict. That's why... It almost is like, and rest in peace to Kobe Bryant, he was a Laker his entire NBA career. That's kind of like the energy that music producers and people who work with artists should have. You should want to try to stick with the same two, two to three artists for your entire career. We, just, we definitely have someone who's very ambitious, that's very younger, that likely has worked with the both of them, and uh, they're just naive very naive and something has happened and we're going to have a court situation come out of it and this is interesting can y'all imagine drake and beyonce suing each other and i like i said i don't know if it's necessarily going to be them or if it's going to be young money versus um whoever she, beyonce signed to but there is going to be a battle over someone saying that they are the original um person that came up with some type of something with some music and uh, the other person stole it. And then right when I say that, I drop all the cards and tool and labor is in reverse. Three of Pentacles is right here in reverse. Yeah, someone feels like they worked very hard on something and then they feel like their sound was stolen. This is, this is um, kind of interesting. I wasn't anticipating to see this, but this is definitely the energy that I'm getting. Now, we have two people that are very strategic about how the media views them and moves that they make. Beyonce and Drake are very, very, very careful with how they handle themselves and conduct themselves in public. For instance, Tory Lanez, when that whole situation popped off, I think Drake kind of like backed away from him a little bit until it's starting to come out that, you know, clearly we haven't received the whole story. So he normally, you know, tries to separate himself from drama and so does Beyonce. So they may come to terms with something behind closed doors. But honestly, I seriously can see this getting nasty. And uh, it doesn't help at all the fact that they both are getting older and are um, insecure with where they will stand 
in the music industry in the future. But we have three very intelligent people. And when I say three, I'm going to add Jay-Z to this mix because the good thing about Beyonce and Jay-Z, when they see a problem, something that could be an issue, a legal issue especially, they nip it in the bud. Um, Y'all remember when Beyonce was on tour in um, one of her um, props, like, you know, that shoot up the little flames and all that shit burned a fan. Beyonce carried her ass to that hospital that night and probably was at that person's bedside apologizing for what happened and how much, what type of check do I need to write you so that you won't sue the fuck out of me? Um, they're really good at nipping things in the bud, but it really does give this energy that the other person that's going up against Jay-Z and Beyonce is not going to be willing to compromise or work with them on getting getting a settlement outside of the court court system if that makes sense we are gonna start to see before i say this let me just go ahead and um let me confirm it please confirm what i just heard spirit um and remember please if you're new to my channel please make sure you read the description box below um, I acknowledge that tarot is not an exact science. I'm not always going to be right. I don't think I'm the end all and be all with tarot. But yes, I do think I'm damn good at it. And your mother would agree. <laughs> yeah, I talk about mamas. Okay, so let's see. Confirm what I just heard, spirit. Confirm what I just heard. Hmm. Page of Pentacles, Talents. Skills, money. Five of Pentacles inverted. Wow. Okay. Mm. See the Nine of Swords inverted. Three of Pentacles. Yes. Nine of Pentacles. Okay. And then the Tower. Yep. It's over four. Okay. Wow. Okay, so in the next year or two, it could be, I don't know when this is going to start, but it, it, it's going to happen. We're going to start seeing a lot of people come out saying that Jay-Z and Beyonce have stole their ideas musically. A lot of people are going to start to say that they um, have taken songs that they've created and used them themselves. This is very weird though, because it's like, it feels like it's going to come out of like nowhere and it's going to be a shock to like everybody. And basically, these people are fed up. Like, you have been prosperous with my work. And, you know, I haven't benefited at all. And if I did benefit, it was a very small percentage of what you made off of my idea. And whoever this person is, I am, one, I am someone that does respect people when they create something. That is their, you know, intellectual property or creative property and I despise people who use their power to silence people but just because they don't have as big of a platform as you do does not mean that you have the right to do whatever you want to do up into including stealing ideas from other people because they most certainly did I will say this Jay-Z and Beyonce are going to be strategic they're going to blame it on their team they're going to say oh we weren't aware I cannot say that they did not know at all I won't say that because I can't say that. Mm -mm. But I do think, yeah, we're going to have some people coming out saying that they've been stealing um, their music. And when they do, honestly, guys, we need to pray for that person because they're going to catch hell. Because You know, like, just think, they're going to catch hell. It's Their fans are going to come after that person. But the one thing I do admire is, like, literally we're looking at a David and Goliath type of situation. But I will tell you, we all know in the good book what happened with that situation. You, this person probably will be successful um, with their lawsuit and being able to be compensated for whatever they feel like. I ain't going to say feel whatever was stolen from them um, because it happened. This is wild. This is really wild. I just wasn't anticipating this. Like, I, I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't this. Let me just say that. It wasn't this. So I got my time frame oracle out. Let me see.
I'm not gonna dig through it right now, but I have a oracle, a time frame oracle card that I found in this um, floorboard of my car. It was the Sunday card, but I'm pretty sure I got plenty of days of the weeks in here. I at least did them twice. When is this all this gonna start unfolding? Okay, so we're gonna yes, two yeses and a no. A delay is needed. Let me see. All these other ones take a leap of faith. Wow, this is I really haven't gotten a time yet. No, it has time frames in here. Come on. Within five years. I thought so. Not within five years, but I said it was gonna be. I don't know if I said that or if I thought that. Yeah, so I don't know if it'll be anytime soon. Hmm. Give me more. No, it won't. No, it just came out. What's tomorrow, Thursday? It's right here in my face. So maybe that's stop. Just no, tomorrow's Friday. Th today's Thursday, right? Yeah. All right, so I'm going to keep going. Mm. That says within five years. Honestly, I think the serious situation that's going to happen is going to happen within five years. I think that we are going to, you know how for years you hear it's behind the scene um, drama, but no one really has spoken about it publicly. I think within five years, someone will start to um, sing there will be a siren because they'll be sick of going back and forth with the other party. Very unusual reading. Wasn't anticipating this energy. So, um, yep, that, that is what it is. And that's my intuitive interpretation of uh, what I've seen. I love you guys. Thank you for supporting my channel. Until next time.